Hello everyone, NadLabs here. Today we're going to be making this very simple one-tap game in the Godot game engine, which will also work in mobile, uh, version 3.2.3 stable, and let's get right into it. So I'm not going to be drawing or doing a first principles analysis of how to make this because it's very simple. I'm going to be explaining this just because if some, there's someone here who's new to Godot and wants to learn how to make simple game, um, you've come, then you've come to the right place. So before we even talk about the code, before we talk about the code, we're going to go to our project settings up, up in the top. We're going to go to input map. We're going to type in click in the action and you can see I already have one, but you're just going to click enter. Like I will say add. And once you click add, you can find it over here and you want to click this plus sign over here and you want to click mouse button. It'll bring up this window and you just want to say uh, all devices and left button and click add. I already have it. So it didn't add, but it should look like some, it should look like this. And this means that every time we left click, as you can see, I'm left clicking everywhere. Uh, whenever we left click is going to register that it's going to be an event that we can pick up and listen to so that's essentially what we're going to say here so on the input event uh, we're going to say if the event is action press click we're going to fire our event and this is a function i made and it basically does it returns nothing and it just applies a central impulse to our player over here and our player of course is a its own scene which is uh, just a godot sprite with a collision shape which is a rigid body and when I run the main scene, which is just a node 2D with the child of the player as a child, you can see that I just get this uh, simple movement. Now, if you run it and you haven't changed any settings, then you'd get something uh, and then you wouldn't get something like this. And I'll explain why. The rigid body comes with a lot of properties that make it really helpful for designing your game. If you click on your player and you go to its properties, you can see that I've actually changed the linear dampening to 15 and not and uh, by default, it's negative one. I just chose 15 because I'm also uh, applying a very strong force to this player. So I want to make sure that this uh, player also stops very quickly. And you can see that the dampening or the linear dampening just tells the body how it will slowly slow down. And over here we have the linear angular velocity and it's a constant of 5 and the dampening is 0. Which means it will not slow down ever. It will keep on spinning as long as the game keeps running. And if I put it to 1, you'll see eventually it will spin and slow to a stop. And now Godot can only move up in that top left direction. So I'm just going to make it zero because that's how you make a simple one tap game. And I forgot to explain one line of code. When we do dot rotated by rotation, it essentially does this. If this is our vector, then rotation will say, okay, if you want to rotate it by 30 degrees, we're going to make sure that it's going to point in this direction now. Um, and essentially it works out the X and Y components for you because if you compare it to when it was over here, uh, of course, uh, the X value over here is like, um, the X value over here is like around 2005. If you compare it to over here, I just put some numbers down to make it a little bit clearer. So if we if we have this vector which is pointing 2,500 units to the right, and we uh, want to rotate it by 30 degrees, which is essentially what we might want to do when we're running this one tab game. So like that was about like that was about um, I'm just trying to get it to 130 degrees, but uh, yeah, that was about 30 degrees. And you can see that if we do some simple math, which is uh, we take the uh, so this is the angle. So I just came back after realizing that I actually want to explain this. We have this arm. Uh, we have this uh, 2,500 unit arm. And it will rotate along this path over here. I'll do it in red because that's the path it rotated on. Sorry, it's a curve. Uh, it will rotate along this path, right? Because it's a rotation. And essentially what happens is that since this side is 2,500, we can use simple trigonometry to figure out what the length is of X and the length is of Y. But um, I'm not going to dwell, delve into that because I'm just here to show you how to make a very simple one tap game. And that's uh, uh, this video is longer than it should be. And that's it. Thank you for watching. You can see that this is the exact same uh, game. If I show you up here, you can see it's the exact same game running. At this time, it's on mobile. This is my Samsung S9 Plus. I uh, got a couple cracks, but it doesn't matter. But um, on the screen protector. And you can see that I'm able to tap. And I'm able to move around. And of course, you can add some score, some point system. And if you're wondering why it's so small, it's because if we go to our project settings and we go to our window, you can actually see that um, we have uh, the mode and we have the mode on disabled and ignore. You just want to set it to 2D and uh, keep and you'll fix it. And that's all I have to say for this tutorial. Have an amazing day. Before we even talk about the code, we're going to go to our... Before we go to the... Before we talk about, oh my god.